Hey everybody, John Wagnon here with DevCentral, and in this Lightboard lesson video, we're going to talk about the banking and financial services industry and some of the unique challenges that they face. So like many other industries, they, they have a need to move faster, to shorten the time it takes to provide value. Um, but unique to them, they face a lot of security and regulatory constraints that create a challenge to provide that speed and that scalability. So F5 and Nginx provide this great solution that can bring the speed but also provide the security. All right, so with respect to speed, most companies are moving to containers and this agile development framework because it provides that speed that you need. And so Red Hat OpenShift provides that container environment. So I'm just going to put this right here. Red Hat OpenShift, right? All right, so this is the container environment that you need. Um, and, and you need this for the agile development, right? But most companies don't just deploy one cluster of OpenShift. They, they, uh, you know, they deploy multiple clusters because this provides the high availability and the fault tolerance that they need to do their jobs, right? Um, so this OpenShift environment, this uh, OpenShift cluster provides the speed, the agility, but the question is, how do you secure all this? And, and so I want to get into the details of how that happens. So Big IP is the trusted, familiar infrastructure load balancer that provides security and visibility and governance controls. And then Engine X supports the self-service application de deployment, the, the lifecycle management, the multi-tenancy. It, it gives you that consistency, that, re that reliability that you need in this very agile environment, right? So to kind of draw this picture out, this is, a, uh, this is a representation of how you can put all of this together. All right, so you start with the Red Hat OpenShift container environment, and in this, you're gonna have, you know, like you, like you normally would, um, maybe uh, a pod right here and another pod that um, support, you know, sir, I'll just put service A, and I'll put a little box around that, all right? But then you're gonna have, you know, service B over here, and you'll have a lot of these, obviously, but here's a couple of services. Um, so I'll just put, you know, service B that is supported there by those pods. Okay, so a couple of services, um, you know, running on these different pods within the OpenShift cluster, but then you need an ingress controller to control all of this, and uniquely, Nginx provides an ingress controller. So I'm gonna put um, Nginx, Engine X ingress controller. So that's the Engine X ingress controller. And this, this ingress controller specifically combines the trusted Engine X open source and Engine X plus software load balancers with simplified configuration based on either standard Kubernetes ingress or custom Engine X ingress resources. Uh, and that ensures that the application in this cluster are delivered reliably and securely and quickly and all the things that you need, right? Okay, so you have Nginx ingress controller here at the ingress point of this cluster, um, but you need something if you've got big IP out here. So let me just put a couple of instances of uh, big IP and I'll just put a box around these. Maybe you have a, a few of these going on, right? And so something needs to communicate between the OpenShift cluster and the big IP and so what you, what you also have here is another resource um, called ingress link. So I'm just gonna put it right over here. So ingress, ingress link, right? And this is part of the cluster. Um, and ingress link is a resource uh, that is a simple custom resources definition, a CRD, that configures a, uh, a controller that would load balance traffic across the ingress, uh, you know, ingress controller service, this Kubernetes or this OpenShift cluster. All right, so ingress link is, and I'll put a box around that, is going to communicate with another thing uh, within this cluster called, and it's, it's effectively a big IP controller, but it's called container ingress services. So I'll put CIS right there, right? Container ingress services. And the way that all this works is the, um, the, the container ingress services communicates out with the big IP via an AS3 declaration. So I'm gonna put a little line over here and say this is an AS3 declaration that the container ingress services would communicate uh, with to the big IP. Um, and then, but this is also communicating with this ingress link uh, uh, service as well, this resource here within the cluster, right? And so if anything changes down here, if maybe one of these services goes down or maybe you add more services, 
this expands, this contracts, whatever it is, then the ingress link resource um, can communicate via the container ingress services with Big IP, and now all of this stuff is working together, right? So once the Big IP is configured based on any kind of changes here in the cluster, then CIS, the container ingress services, adds the public IP to the status field of the, of the custom resource so that the Nginx ingress controller can then read this information, right? So then that's how it all kind of starts to work together. So all of this, I'll put, I'll put kind of a big box around this entire thing becomes the OpenShift cluster, right? And then like I said, you can, you can deploy multiple of these things. Um, and so this right here gives you the, uh, and I'll put a box here around this ingress controller as well, all right? But this, this whole environment right here gives you the, the, um, the speed, the agility that you need in a modern architecture uh, to be able to move quickly and provide that, you know, shorten that time to value like we talked about in a minute ago, right? Um, but then in terms of the security of all this, you know, how do you, where does all that come in? Well, here at Big IP, you can deploy the advanced web application firewall, all right, among many other things, frankly. Um, but you can deploy this, a policy here at Big IP that would cover the entire thing um, as needed. But then you can also, and I'll just put it right above this ingress controller, there's a thing called Nginx App Protect. And that is a custom web application firewall as well that you can deploy right on the ingress controller. And so what some people do is they say, hey, we'll let the advanced web application firewall take care of some of the big, you know, common problems that would be, uh, that, that would be present in any of these services or resources here. Um, but then maybe we'll deploy a separate, more unique security policy here at Nginx App Protect because some of these applications um, may have some very unique security needs uh, that you would just want to configure here instead of uh, up here for the entire environment, right? So you can, you can deploy one or more or both of these, um, you know, in a variety of different locations. Uh, and, you know, and then that way you, you take care of the security, the regulatory constraints that you're under for this entire, um, you know, uh, for, for this entire situation. So, so now you can enjoy the speed, the agility of OpenShift cluster um, the OpenShift cluster, this modern architecture, um, you know, very agile environment uh, with the security of Nginx and Big IP. And again, this is the way that it all works together that, uh, that Ingress Link, which by the way, I'm going to put a little line right here as well. Ingress Link talks to the Ingress controller and then the container Ingress services that then communicates up here, Big IP via AS3. So all of this working together gives you the speed that you need, but also the security and the regulatory, you know, um, constraints that you need to, to abide by. Uh, so it all, it's, it's all there for you. So, hey, thanks for watching this Lightboard lesson video with us today. If you like this thing, you can click up here on our DevCentral logo and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And we'll see you guys out there in the community.